so let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen actually I need one more here then so that needs to be a bit more So that's already two. So it'll be... I don't even know. It should be eight. Let me, let me just do this instead of mumbling to myself. So we can still get into here, good. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and then however many the delay was. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What am I doing? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And eight and two and then what's this? What's the delay on this thing? Um, delay is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so the delay on the other one should be six. One, two. Three, four, five, six. That might or might not be correct. And then and then that. if this is going to work very well or oh there's nothing in the middle my bad what am I doing okay we can't do the middle yet because there's actually nothing going to the middle let's do this one all right so we put down eight blocks of TNT on the bottom and hmm. interesting. One, two. Okay, that's interesting. So if we put down eight blocks of TNT on the bottom and one block up there. One, two, three. Yep. So that should be very similar to that thing there. That's too quick. Oh. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that. Is that too slow or too quick? I think that's meant to be... Let's, let's make that one tick quicker. 
and see if we get better results. I might have miscounted the delay or something, I don't know. Huh. No? Maybe that's correct. What if we make it... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... What if we make it 2 ticks slower? I think that's actually the wrong thing. We're just gonna test it for now. Like, it could be because these things are actually getting in the way of the explosions. I'm not sure, though. I mean, really, that should... Yeah, no, see how that is significantly lower. Let's, let's try if we make it faster. That's gonna fail, I'm pretty sure. So basically, you know, if you wanna ask, well, how do you figure out where to put the TNT and how many to put, this is what I do. I just test it out with different timings. That's gonna fail. Yeah. Did I even put a block up here? Well, actually, not having it explode or not having it propel further up is probably a good thing for now. Yeah, see how it just completely failed. So, what do we have? Five, six. I think six is actually correct. So now, let's put all nine in. And then what? I mean, if we just follow the same formula, we do this. But I believe this is too much TNT. I think this is actually going to blow the the payload out of the map if I put in this much TNT because you know like this stuff affects anyway this is too much TNT I should put it that way I don't what's it I don't okay I don't even see them anymore. Um, let's... We don't need that much. Let's just um, have that much for now. I mean, we really should be leaving this stuff for later because this is more to fine-tune how accurate the TNT is. Okay. So uh, that was obviously too much TNT. What if we do like a checkerboard pattern? I mean, basically, I'm just trying to figure out how much TNT to use in order to throw the payload into the sky high enough for it to be impressive, but not so high that it just completely disappears from the map. a little bit too much and you also saw how they it spread out as well like it wasn't straight it wasn't pushing the the payload straight up it was kind of pushing them outwards so that was fairly impressive but maybe a little bit too much still let's try this maybe like one in the middle instead of having four here
Oh wow. Oh crap. <laughs> that almost fell back down. Um That was cool, wasn't it? Look at that. Let's let's, let's see that again. Let's see this again. And I'm not just doing this for the sake of it, where well, actually I am. But we also want to test the variability as well, like how how likely is is the pattern going to be different if I you know put them all in the same place? Is it going to look exactly the same or not? Pretty much, pretty much exactly the same. Um, maybe I want it a little bit higher than that, if I can. Let's try checkerboard again, but a slightly different checkerboard. So let's see, there's four, six, um, eight, twelve, thirteen in the last one. Now there's twelve again. See, I, I don't know if this makes... Oh, crap. I don't know how much difference this makes when I do that. Like, it's the same amount of TNT as before when there was too much, but just in a slightly different pattern. Again, you know, this is why I'm doing this in creative, because one, I don't have this much TNT to... What am I doing? I don't have enough this TNT to experiment like this. And two, I don't want to destroy my world. All right. Yeah, that's right. So I forgot to put in the actual payload last time. Cool. <laughs> so, um, that's interesting. That's interesting. So, if I wanted to shoot them straight up, I really need the arrangement to be. Oh, actually, no, no, that's that's should be expected because this throws them straight up pretty much, and whereas. This will throw them outwards because there's more in the middle, so you have more power pushing them outwards from the middle. So that's not too surprising. I want it slightly higher. What if I just add two more, I mean, four more like that? What's that gonna do? Payload again. I keep doing this. Sorry, guys. So, just a little bit more TNT. We'll drop those in. Don't you wish you were a pyrotechnics expert in real life? Okay. Okay, that was not what I expected. I put more TNT in, but it didn't shoot as high. That's interesting. I don't I don't understand what's going on there. But Maybe that's just how it is. That's definitely how I want it. I just want to double check something here. 
Are these all lighting up at the same time? See, I'm sure they're not, even though they're on the same timer. I'm pretty sure that, you know, some are being activated sooner than the others because of the way, because of the distribution of the explosives. You, know, you can almost see a, a counter, or like a, yeah, a counterclockwise. Like, maybe this one's being activated first, and then in a circle like that. I don't, damn it, I don't know why it would do that. I guess the timing on this thing is not actually precise. I mean, look, what happens if I delay that one tick, just for the hell of it? I don't think there's anything I can do about that. That's just how the game is.